Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to format and reuse the Windows 10 Retail USB Flash Drive, Model 1734, using Fison Impal. Here's a closer look at the front of the USB Flash Drive, and there's a look at the back. The model number is shown at the bottom left. We'll start by plugging in the USB Flash Drive, and you can see it pops up in File Explorer. Taking a look at the contents of the drive, you can see it has both the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows, as well as a setup.exe file. Going into the properties of the drive, you can see that the capacity is just under 16 gigabytes, and it is formatted FAT32. Now your first instinct probably is to try to format the drive in File Explorer. You can even try to change the drive's name to something other than Windows 10. But as you can see, once you press start, a dialog box comes up that says the disk is write protected. It doesn't matter if you switch off quick format, the same message pops up and Windows refuses to format the drive. Your next step might be to open up disk management and try to format the drive there. As you can see, more information about the drive is presented and there are actually two partitions on it. However, the option to format or delete a partition is grayed out when you right click on it. And you can see the label read only right under the drive's capacity. Now in most normal cases, you can clear a drive's read only flag using the command line tool disk part. Just open up command prompt as an administrator and type in disk part. Then type in list disk. Now all the disks connected to your computer will be shown. Select the disk number that's listed as online and 14 gigabytes. In my case, that's disk number 5. Disk part will now say that it is a selected disk. Now type in attributes disk clear read only. And you'll get a message saying that the attribute read only was cleared. Type in detail disk to see more information. You can see that the read only flag is set to false, but the current read only state is set to true. So to clear the current read only state, you're going to need to use a low level formatter. First, we'll start out by using the tool Chip Genius. When you first open up the program, you'll see a list of all USB controllers and devices. Scroll down the list until you see USB Mass Storage Device KDI Microsoft Windows 10. On the bottom panel, you'll see detailed information about the device. The last section lists controller information. You can see here that the controller vendor is Fison and the controller part number. PS2251-09. You can also see the firmware version and the flash ID code. You can download Chip Genius at a variety of websites online. I use this website lo4d.com. The link's in the description. Now for the actual low-level formatter program, Vice and Impal, you're going to have to download from this website called usbdev.ru. A full link will be in the description. Once you get to that site, then you'll need to scroll down to the Downloads section. Once you're there, then look for the controller part number that was shown in Chip Genius, and you'll see the associated version of Vice and Impal to download and use. Once you've downloaded the right version, use a program like 7-Zip to extract the RAR archive. Open up the new folder and scroll to the bottom until you see the program called Impal.exe. Open up the program and you should see 16 gray boxes on this screen. When you click the update button on the right, your USB flash drive might not show up. If that's the case, then unplug it and replug it back in. One of the boxes should now be white and have some text in it. Click the button to the left to see more information about the USB device. If you click on the partition setting tab, you'll see that the right protect status is set to on and there's no way to change it here. So close out that window to get to the main screen and then click on the setting button on the right. Leave the type as basic setting and new setting. Now when this window pops up, click the load button on the right and select the file mp.ini that is in the same folder as the Impal program. Once the settings are loaded, double check and see that the controller selected is the correct one. Then be sure to change the host port setting to the correct version that the USB flash drive is connected to. The drive will not format if this is set incorrectly. Finally, click save and then you can close out that window. Then press start and wait for the program to finish formatting your drive. Do not disconnect the drive until the program finishes and an error or completion message is displayed. 
the program might take some time as it tests the drive's rewrite capabilities and builds the new partitions. Once it's done, the progress bar will turn green if it was successful or red if there was an error. When you click the button to get info on the drive after its format, you'll notice that the product name has been changed to USB Disk 3.0 instead of Microsoft Windows 10. In the Partition Setting tab, you'll see that the Write Protect status is now set to Disabled. Now going back to File Explorer and opening up the properties of the drive, you'll see that the name has been changed to USB Dev from Windows 10. Also, the capacity has gone up by about a gigabyte, and it is just under 16 gigabytes now. Going into the drive, you can see that it is empty, and we'll test the read-write capabilities by making a new text document. And as you can see, the document saved successfully. Now you can use the flash drive normally to store whatever files you want on it. Or you could even use the Windows 10 media creation tool to download and install a new version of Windows on the flash drive. So that's going to be it for this video showing you how to format and reuse the Windows 10 retail USB flash drive. Please check the description for further instructions and links to all the downloads. Also feel free to leave a comment down below if you need additional help or have further questions. Thanks for watching everyone.